All right, so <laughs> it was interesting that uh, what's her name? Um, Nikki. Megan. No, Megan. Oh. Oh yeah. Yeah, when when the first thing that she ever she didn't even t uh, say your name to me, and she said that you guys are going to click. Oh <laughs> yeah. Right now, I, I, to be honest with you, man, I looked at you and I was like, ah, uh, like wait, I'm gonna click with this guy. What yeah. the hell? No, but yeah, it's true. It's it was an interesting experience. <laughs> <clears throat> so and then we met what, a couple of days ago. Yeah. And here we are in yeah. your place, two hours away from LA. In Lake Arrowhead, who knew? Um, I mean, you caught me as an interesting individual, but um, you have you know you have your own expanded ideas, but they're based on, of course, the you know lots of research um, done on your own. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's very interesting. So that's that's an interesting of in itself. You know, because mm -hmm. a lot of people don't really do mm -hmm. that. Um, so you know, you you come across as an interesting individual. So I thought I'd uh, pay attention to you. Uh, so I'm here trying to see uh, if we can extract interesting stuff from you. Yeah, absolutely. Mining stories. Uh -huh. uh, so, um, you you had aspirations on, you, you, you told me that you have an interesting um, uh, group online. Mm, yeah, and well, it's a, it's a Facebook group right now, but I mean, eventually, like, it's the only, uh, it's the only method I've really uh, been able to utilize at this point, but um, uh, yeah, I've, I've been doing it for a few months now. And uh, basically, um, it's called the uh, Superhuman Activation Resource Group. Okay. And it's an open group on Facebook. Anybody can join that wants to. I've, uh, I've got about 115 people on it um, right now. So I actually do have uh, quite, a, quite a few people that I've just met randomly and that, have, um, <clears throat> that are now a part of that group. And so, um, yeah, basically, um, it deals with uh, Kundalini activation and then uh, what I call uh, Superhuman Activation. Or um, What's a Kundalini Activation? Well, uh, kundalini is um, one of the types of energies that you find in the body um, that, that, that powers our body. But basically, um, uh, you, you raise it um, or it uncoils from the base of the spine and then uh, is, uh, is raised up the spine and activates the chakras. So, um, like, there's actually, um, I don't know, people, when people talk about meditation, uh, I feel that they're not specific enough. You know, like, they, they just say you need to go out in the woods and be, be relaxed and breathe. Right. Know? That's but, the problem that I really have with meditation because I really want to meditate yeah. and I feel like I know and I understand the value yeah. behind meditation, but I oftentimes don't understand what it's all about and yeah. they're, oh, well, it's just peaceful, it calms your nerves and yeah. I'm like, yeah, I understand what it does, but how do you do it? Right, exactly. And like, um, <laughs> there's really uh, <laughs> very, very little like um, useful information. I mean, it's, it's out there, but it's, it's just, it's buried in, you know. 2,000 pages of like a, a Hindu, you know, some Hindu text or, you know, uh, even the Buddhist stuff, they, they don't really get right down to the point and, you know, tell you like, here's what's up. Like with the, with the, um, the Om, uh, you know, uh, it's one of the... Yeah, know, we were out at yeah. the, uh, uh, yeah. what, what do you call this, a crystal? Uh, my crystal circle that I have out in the woods. It's um, All right, so he has this crystal circle out in the woods. It took us like 20 minutes to get there and... Yeah, it was out of nowhere, and it was like a Blair Witch Project, but in the reverse because it was for good things, you know. Anyway, we'll we'll show you that. Yeah, um, but uh, basically. So you did those ohms there. Yeah, um, um, I've I've uh, structured the area that I meditate in uh, in a way with um, with quartz crystals that I found um, naturally around my house, um, and so I've I've um, structured it um, my meditation area out in the woods in a way that um, basically circle, cycles or circles energy much easier. And um, that's what the ohm is, is really just a circle, where it's like the beginning and ending of all sounds, starting with the most open sound and ending with the most closed sound. And the ah corresponds to the bottom of the chakra system, and the mm uh, corresponds to the top of the chakra system. So what the ohm actually is, is trying to connect the um, top of the chakra system uh, and the bottom through raising the energy up your spine. So that's what it sounds like. It sounds like ah, you know, that's just the sound of that energy moving. And I never heard those like you know, it's always ah, right. But I never heard it broken down. Yeah. And until yeah. that's you know that moment in the circle. And, and that's yeah, that's that's really the one of the main problems that um that I have and specifically because I I gained uh, a lot of the knowledge that I've used from um, Tibetan texts, um, uh, tantric texts and things like that, um, Tibetan Buddhism, and also Hinduism. But um, I disagree with many of the things, and I really think that they, they have a lot of information that they're not giving us, and that um, they're really layering it in a lot of, uh, you know, 
things that it doesn't need to be layered with, you know, that you need to decide, decipher through, you know. But is it is it, do you suspect that it's something that we probably shouldn't know? Or is it something that, because I have a feeling like if everybody knows about like something crazy shit like mm -hmm. that, you might be caught in, like, well, you know, maybe that information is mis not for everybody. Misusing the energies, like, if you had energy, then you, you could possibly misuse it, right? If you if you were given superhuman capabilities, and then, right, you blew up the whole planet, right? And that's basically why not everybody is activated superhumans. Because it, there's a certain responsibility that needs to happen before you, you're able to channel that kind of energy. But, um... Uh... So you can help me activate my superhuman. <laughs> Absolutely. And uh, there's there's activated superhumans on this planet right now that are um, basically have already gone beyond like most of the things that we as normal human beings can possibly imagine. And they've actually experienced it with their own eyes and with their own auras and with their own astral bodies, you know, going through different dimensions. So this is something that these people, they have stories and you got to listen to them and you got to be like, well, either they're crazy or, you know, this. So... I've just I've met a lot of crazy people, and then I've met a lot of people that have interesting things to say that I know they're not crazy because I've met a bunch of crack, crazy crackheads, you know. <laughs> yeah, there's a definitely uh, yeah. a thick line between a crazy person yeah. and person Someone who's who... at least got some idea of what they're talking about. Yeah, yeah. I mean they 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 you know, it's at least a coherent representation of yeah. their own unique world, mm -hmm. and it makes sense in their own way. And, you may uh, not agree with it because it's a different world yeah. other than your own. And you just have to use what they call non-ordinary reasoning, which is basically like uh, you say, well, it doesn't make sense according to my system, but does it make sense like within itself as a system, you know, based on um, what it presents itself as a, uh, as a system? Uh, is it coherent and cohesive within that own system, you know, even if it's something that would be outside the comprehension of uh, things that you would normally experience? So that's what you just have to try and understand where that perspective is coming from and why it's true or false. So uh, then you can kind of cipher through all the information that we find, uh, you know, pretty much everywhere. There's tons of information out there. There's just no context. People need context of understanding, like, this is what it all means, you know, and yeah. what we can do next, you know.